When a patient prepares for a telehealth appointment, such as the NAA persona Sarah Thompson, they are often asked to take one of a number of different healthcare surveys in advance of the appointment. The PREPARE survey was created by the National Association of Community Health Centers to collect some basic demographic information from the patient, along with social determinants of health information. Originally, patients were expected to fill this form out on paper. But with time, the PREPARE survey was adapted to use the standard for digital health interoperability called FIRE. We have since adapted the original PREPARE survey into a mobile device app for Android or iPhone that uses Fire to connect interoperably. This adaptation uses Flutter, which is the open source UI toolkit released by Google in 2018. Flutter gives specific advantages for cross-platform mobile app development, and it will soon be available on the web. This way, Sarah could answer the questions on a phone, tablet, website, or computer with a consistent experience across platforms. If Sarah speaks another language than her care team, our app can help her navigate her care across translations and locales. As Sarah works her way through the survey, she encounters these material insecurity questions, such as whether she has had any difficulty getting food or obtaining childcare over the last year. There are other questions as well, and each question contains an optional answer choice in case Sarah chooses not to answer it. In either case, once Sarah is done with the survey, she would click on Submit. Once submitted, Sarah's survey data can be connected interoperably to a server that follows the FIRE standard. The benefit of using FIRE is that it is the global standard for healthcare data interoperability, including electronic health records. If, for example, Sarah's survey results are uploaded to the healthcare provider's electronic health record system, each combination of question and answer would be stored in Sarah's medical record as an observation. And each response may be associated with a relevant condition code in a manner that helps Sarah's care team provide the resources and referrals that she might need. For example, food insecurity would have a condition health concern created in Sarah's medical record. As part of Sarah's well-being care team, the local social services agency is notified of Sarah's change in healthcare status. They're using a product called Navigator from Open City Labs. For each of the agency's care team clients, Navigator subscribes to changes in their social determinants of health in the local electronic health record system, either directly or through a regional health information exchange. I'm Matt Bishop, and this is a demo of OpenSea Labs Navigator. Here we can see where the Prepare app has indicated a change in the food insecurity status for Sarah Marie Thompson. We've subscribed to that. So here we've you can see the um, question and responses, and we've highlighted the fact that Sarah can access uh, food and childcare. You can also see the broader uh, patient journey uh, over the last year. And if we want to help Sarah um, access these services, we can click on this here. We've um, generated some recommendations of goals. Uh, these are um, goals. Uh, this particular one is associated with Gravity Project um, and associated with food insecurity Z code from the Prepare app. Um, we have a set of services um, and government programs that are recommended based on uh, the food insecurity determination. Uh, but first, let's turn to childcare because Sarah really wants to get back to work, but um, she's afraid without childcare, she's not going to be able to do that. So, the childcare resource and referral centers, we can see the nearest one that's closest to Sarah for her home residence. Um, and by clicking refer, um, we can um, indicate which which organization we want to select to make this referral to. And here we have different providers, different individuals that specifically receive these referrals and respond to these particular programs. We can record Sarah's consent and we've generated a automatic um, message 
to those providers um, indicating the referral. And then the, those providers would get a dashboard, much like you saw when we began this demo. Now let's turn to the food insecurity challenge. So we know from uh, her determination uh, that she's on um, SNAP uh, that she's going to be eligible for WIC. And so we're going to help her apply for that program. And so here, this is in um, a, a referral form automatically has been generated from the PDF. And what we are demoing here is simulating pulling in the electronic medical record data into these government application forms that are standardized or required to fill out these particular forms. And then um, we've about 100 of these programs and services across 30 agencies, these application forms. And then even if there is not an integration with the agency directly, uh, we can provide this autofilled PDF. Either it can be downloaded or faxed automatically to the agency. Very shortly, we will be supporting direct and uh, we'll be able to attach that um, message, that uh, PDF, onto a um, direct message and it can go off to one of the healthcare WIC providers like Monifure, for example. I just want to show you one other thing. If there's other health healthcare or social determinants of health needs for Sarah, we have this kind of map view of all services that Sarah uh, might be interested in her community from across the full social determinants. So thanks, and I appreciate your listening to our demo from Open City Labs.